joining me today is Brooke Whiteside, Health Information Manager for Southern Health. Brooke, thanks for joining us. No problem. First of all, can you give us an update on the operational challenges of collecting sufficient data and how do you overcome these challenges, including the lessons learned during the process? So a lot of the uh, challenges that we had here at Southern Health related to le not enough detail around the applications that we received and inability to be able to find them quickly. Um, we implemented a database to be able to track them sufficiently. We can now report on how many applications we receive um, in, in any given time period, so a weekly, monthly or um, financial year period. Um, the challenges that we faced during this was the strict guidelines that we have to con confine to with the FOI Act um, and the time frames that the FOI Act require. Um, the lessons learnt during the particular process, probably more so to engage the the staff using it, the database at the, the front end, um, a little bit more frequently than what we did. Um, we tried to do it from a more hierarchical perspective and getting the, the requirements we needed from the Act um, and then had to later on go down and um, fix up some of the, the front end stuff that the staff using it found. And what are the key benefits that your staff and patients will see as a result of the successful implementation of a new database for tracking and reporting? Well, the staff find it a lot easier to actually find the application. So when you're dealing with a patient or a company on the phone, they're very quickly able to find the application um, on the database and then be able to find where the particular paperwork in the actual office is. So that is much faster, much easily um, used. We have a lot more streamlined processes with a lot of the letters that we send out, so there's not a lot of double handling um, all the letters are in the database and a few clicks of the button and they've printed whereas previously we had to go and hand type all of the letters individually and that was very time consuming. We had no statistical evidence as to how many applications we received in any given time period and we just knew that based on the shelves that the um, number of applications were increasing but we had no evidence to support that. So all of that combined has made the processing of the department much easier, much faster, much more streamlined. From the patient's perspective, they're actually um, getting a much more comprehensive customer service on the phone. You know, we don't have to say, can you hold the line for a couple of minutes or we actually try and find out where we are. We're looking a lot more professional. They can, uh, we, the staff can answer the patient's questions pretty much straight away. Um, and from a reporting perspective, obviously up the, the higher end of the organisation, they're able to see exactly what's going on. It's a lot more transparent. Um, that are pretty the good things. And how do you ensure the effective communication and engagement between other stakeholders during the process? A lot of it is done verbally, um, but uh, we document everything, and so documentation within the database is imperative. Uh, there is a large note section, so we are able to um, write down exactly who did what on what day, and um, that is tracked for everything that is done. The, the other departments involved could be um, medically and surgical departments, but it, most of the time is um, our legal office and they are ensuring that we're sending out the correct information um, in the right way and their communication back into the database is imperative as well and it's mainly done through the main to note section within the database. And Brooke, you're speaking at IIR's second annual Managing Patient Confidentiality and Information Governance Conference, taking place on the 25th and the 26th of June in Melbourne. What would you like delegates to gain from your presentation? Just an overall understanding on the constraints around the FOI Act and how that relates specifically to health um, and what, it, what we've done to try and improve uh, the reporting of that and uh, noticeably the massive increase that we've had here at Southern Health um, and how that's impacted on our need to implement this database um, to then give the patients um, and their particular legal areas um, a better serv better customer service from Southern Health. Brooke Whiteside, thanks very much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you in Melbourne. Thanks very much.